Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka, International Neil Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do another quick and easy salon designs because that's what you have requested the most to see. This is going to be on marble. Yeah, it is kind of like a wave stone look, uh, depends which angle you look at it with a little bit of the gold bits and pieces. And I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you did and you need in here, hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you are existing a channel lover, let me know down in the comments below what you're thinking about those type of tutorials. I hope you will really enjoy it. So yes, this is a very quick design and um, what is best about it that you can change the colors and create anything uh, with any kind of colors. I think po uh, pink and purples will look really nice, but we will go for those kind of blues, turquoise, uh, uh, stone look. And the first step you have to do is just prep the needles as usual. So you will just finish off the needle enhancements. If it will be a natural needle, you will just uh, prep the natural needle, apply the base and then apply the top coat. So the reason behind applying the top coat is, is kind of a technique which is called wet on wet, uh, where we uh, work on the uncured product. And this way, uh, the top coat is helping to marble the gel we apply on top of it. So it's a very effective way of marble. And then I've got my mixing palette and I show you how to prepare the mixture. So I'm going to use a couple of the colors. Uh, I don't have all of them which I need in here. So I'm going to uh, mix my blue. I'm applying, because it's a gel, so it's a little bit not good for a uh, marble. So I'm going to thin this out. So I apply top coat plus this gel. I need to thin this out a little bit. And now I've got gel polish basically <laughs> made of that. And then I need also a drop of the um, white and some turquoise again i need to thin out this white so sometimes if you're missing some kind of colors or something you can just create it yourself so a drop of the top coat and my white mix it out just to thin it out because if it's too thick it's not going to marble nice and then add it there okay so that's a mixture getting ready then the next color we could use is some sort of green and this one is pretty nice neon green so i'm just applying the drop of this color and then i've got some turquoise that's kind of like an end old gel polishes but uh, i thought for this design they will be just perfect brilliant and i will do one more drop of the white So nice and thin white with the top coat. And then I can pick that up and just apply in there. So there used to be a technique where we was mm, putting a nail polish, normal nail polish into the water to create a nice uh, marble design. So basically that's what you're doing on the site with the gel polishes. Okay, so we've got this mixture ready here. And then you could uh, use a few different types of brushes. So this one is quite nice because it's short hair. That's an ombre brush. And this is an ombre brush as well. But this ombre brush has much longer hairs. So they may be not strong enough to pick up a nice design. This one is much better. Or you could just use your gel brush. And I might actually show you my gel brush as well because that will do the work. So that's my gel brush and I could easily use this brush to pick up this design too. My nails looks funny now, like all different sorts of uh, stuff, but this uh, um, this nails are available on the channel to watch as well. We also need some nice mixture of the gold and I show you guys what kind of gold. So I'm going to use the Sandy Glow from Neo Neil. It's like a glittery gold color. Just apply a dot of that. And some time ago I have made also a mixture of the pigment so i'm just going to take a drop of that that's a pigment mixed with the top coat and it's actually pretty cool for those type of designs because it's a nice shade of gold 
And now we're ready to marble. So I suggest you prepare that uh, on the side. The mixing palette, I will give you the link on to the description of this video. But if you don't have a mixing palette, uh, the neo foils, the Soko foils wraps are fantastic as well, because once you finish, you just bin that. So the product is starting to marbling itself as well, which is absolutely awesome. And now we are going to pick that up and apply it on the needle. So I'm just picking that up and I'm already having a really nice marble. And then with the kind of shaky motion, I'm getting rid of this product and apply it on the needle. Pick up another scalp, depending on what color you want more. And just go around it. So there will be a places which I want to have more product and there will be places where I want to have less product in. Another scalp. And I really like it because we've got this uh, top coat underneath. You can see that uh, we are getting extra marble effect because of this top coat as well. And I'm just missing a drop in here. So this way we have created a really nice uh, marble. And before we cure it, I'm going to go with my thin brush and I will add some gold sparkle through it. Not a lot, just a tiny bit. It almost looks like an, this one, it looks actually like an ocean wave. I think it's pretty cool. So thicker and then just a tiny, tiny ones. Thicker and very tiny ones. Clean my brush and I want to maybe break this through here. So I'm just going with this gold in there. This is hardly visible, but I think it gives a really nice effect and is also um, making the marble even more interesting. I hope all those tutorials help you um, with all your extra free time and keep your minds away from the current um, virus pandemic which is going on on the world in a all world actually uh, which is pretty scary but yeah I will try to keep your mind away as much as possible from all the situation so I'm quite happy with this one at this stage and I'm going to give it a cure so this one we can pop it into the lamp also feel free to uh, down below in the comment section just like request what else you would like to see because I've got lots of time same like you and I'm very very happy to produce all those designs for you so here I'm having another marble just exactly the same I'm picking up this cup and then I'm searching places where I think it is going to look the nicest And then let's get some blue in here and green. That's actually a nice turquoise color. You cannot go really wrong with it. Uh, it's a very quick and easy technique and I totally love it. And we will create the finished look in matte and then add the tiny bit of the sparkle and silver. And also look like when I'm talking the top coat which is underneath is also doing a job for me as well and is smudging this uh, design even more. I think stone designs are really popular at the minute and the clients even which uh, they don't like like too much art on it they would be very happy to have like an, an every maybe one nail on each hand like uh, with those type of design. Absolutely beautiful. And quite often I use the techniques like which don't require too much uh, of my time and where the product is doing the job. So as you can see, the longer I wait, the nicer it looks. But I can give it a cure now. And we can remove the previous one, apply the matte top coat and then add some sparkle through it. So this one is cured and I'm going to use the velour top coat. So just apply on the entire nail. 
then give it a cook and then we are going to put some sparkle through it as well actually i've got some gold foil there as well we could encapsulate a little bit of it why not so i'm just searching my dotting tool and a very small piece of this foil actually will be quicker with the brush so i'm just breaking some piece, bits and pieces of the foil and picking it up with the brush i want some in here And this foil is uh, <clears throat> really nice for the designs as well because it's so thin that it is very easy to encapsulate it. I've got two strongly pinched needles. <laughs> they don't work. And then another one in here. Yeah, I'm going to pop it into the lamp. Just apply a tiny bit of the top coat and the places I want to place this foil. Actually, this idea just came in when I sold this foil on the side, and I think it's a really nice idea. So here we could put this foil there. That's a better dotting tool. And another piece just in there. So not overly too much, give it a cook in the lamp and the other one is ready. So now I need to encapsulate it because there was no top coat on this one. And I've got two choices, so one I could make it at matte and the other one I could make it at shiny and I'm going to make it at shiny. So I'm applying a tiny bit of the top coat on the side. And then encapsulate it so it's looking like a wee stone. encapsulate it and then my top coat mix in with the gel polish and the pigment so this way i don't have to apply the top coat over it and it's going to stay on and we're going to add a bit more gold and this gold is going to stay sparkly because if we would apply it underneath of the smart top coat it wouldn't be sparkly and i think it stands out much nicer if we keep it at shiny So just a very tiny, tiny wee lines. And then outline this wee foil here. I'm always trying to follow the design as well. So like I wouldn't place the lines uh, See, if the waves are going this way, I wouldn't put the line on the top because it just wouldn't match the cracks and then it will look really fake. And just a tiny one on the top. I quite like this look and then we can pop it into the lamp and this one will be completely finished once it's cured. Do exactly the same on this one as well. So now we can apply the matte top coat. And for the change, I'm going to apply matte top coat on the foil here as well, just to show you the different look. So top coat on the entire nail. Pop it into the lamp. If this is a, one of the first tutorials you have seen on my me, uh, check the other ones because there's quite a lot of interesting stuff like a nail structure, coffin nails, rebalance, new sets, pinching, uh, lots of different uh, nail art classes as well. And uh, then hit the subscribe button if you want to see more in the future. Uh, and then I can just add this one to the collection as well. So really nice and interesting stone look. 
this one just to add a tiny bit of the gold sparkle and it's ready as well so you can see the matte foil and then shiny foil slightly different looks and i think they both kind of really interesting and then we can add a tiny bit of the sparkly one not too much we don't want that to be overdone just a tiny tiny bit and then search always for most ugly places uh, <laughs> to kind of make it look prettier and just the last touch in here pop it into the lamp and we've got another one to collection i think they look really nice and uh, interesting and imagine it having an uh, pinks and purples or like an amethyst kind of style looking new uh, where you would use uh, purple you could use a tiny bit of the white or a quartz nails like with the transparent pink then you would uh, need to use um, um, diluted pink with the top coat i am actually do the tutorial if you want to see on this one as well because uh, the stones are really interesting so that's all four of them for collection and I hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, give me a like. If you're new, subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. Bye!